the only thing that was really relevant that happened was Harley Cameron. <laughs> it's funny how QTV has now went from QT Marshall being the mouthpiece and everyone being involved with Hobbs. And then they've slimmed it down. And now it's just Harley Cameron doing the talking, which is actually the correct move. <laughs> so uh, she's going to give us a rap video next week. And honestly, I can't wait. Kelson, your thoughts. If I were to watch Dynamite over again and came to this match, I would fast forward it to Harley Cameron because that was the only thing that was entertaining. Everything else was a jobber match with nothing really going on in the ring. It wasn't a bad match. It was just meh. You know, it was just there. It was there to get Harley Cameron onto the big screen so that she could mouth off to Anthony Bowens. And that's what basically happens every time we have, any time we have an announcement that says, Wrestler X is going to be in action. We know it's going to be a jobber match where something's going to happen afterward. It's that's the way it is. Anyway, yeah. yeah so, you know, Harley Cameron, you know, is the most entertaining thing about that match to me. And I'm looking forward to seeing, not really looking forward to seeing. I don't, I've heard her sing before and she's a, an amazing. If you've never seen Harley Cameron sing, she is an amazing performer. She really has a set of pipes on her. And uh, that is, Shane, that is not a reference that you think. Um, <laughs> but, but I don't know about the rapping thing. That may be a little uncomfortable and awkward. And it may be done on purpose that it's uncomfortable and awkward. But it is what it is. I'm looking forward to that next week. Because that's what this whole match was about, setting that up. I have absolutely no doubt that whatever Harley Cameron brings us next week is going to be entertaining. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be entertaining and funny. Um, This feels like a waste of the acclaim, though, and their popularity, to be honest. Caleb, what do you think? What are we doing, man? Just what are we doing? Do you have... You had the most over group in all of AEW. It was just two months ago. They were the most over group. And now they're feuding with QTV. I, I, uh, shit, why? I, I, I hate it. There's nothing more that needs to be said. It, it is strange. Rollins, you got any thoughts? It was just a match. That's all. It's probably the best way to put it. Shane, what do you think? Man, uh, the Harley turning Anthony Bowens thing is very late 90s, early 2000s WWE attitude era. Come on, guys. That's the low hanging fruit. And uh, it's going to get seats and butts and eyes on the screen. Um, it was just a match, Rollin, very well put, and uh, one that has its place for media, but probably one that doesn't belong on TV. There was a picture-in-picture picture break on this match, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> Sleazy, what do you got? Well, I mean, the acclaimed, I mean, they're pretty good in any match anyway. The rapping is always very necessary, and the incredible amounts of scissoring is also very important. Like, you can't have acclaimed without scissoring. But the whole thing about the acclaimed being racist here is kind of incorrect, sort of. Like, look, I get it. The feud with QT TV is kind of a waste. I mean, they could probably try and spin it into something that's maybe decent and a lot less 90s WWE. But I think what they're trying to do is go after the trios titles. You know, and then get, and then we can just have some good old fashioned trios title scissoring. I, I I think that's what they're trying to do here. If not, then uh, yay, I'm stupid. 